Does Xbox Scorpio have a parody problem and it's not even out yet? We'll get into it in the breakdown. What's going on people? It's your boy The Real Masculine coming at you with your daily dose. Now as always, before we get started, I need y'all to do those two things for me. Now the first one, elbow drop that like button. Just one time, just, just slide up on it, get up on that top rope, elbow drop that like button. Subscribe here for more. Now let's break it down. Microsoft's biggest problem going into the Scorpio is going to be parity. It's going to be parity between the PS4 Pro and the Xbox Scorpio. In order for Microsoft to push their power narrative, they have to sell the system as significantly more powerful than the PS4 Pro. And the only way to do that is to show the games look better, play better on their system. Now, they've already started the little jabs and little, you know, subliminal messages of they will be the best place to play things like Star Wars Battlefront 2 and, you know, things like that. They've started those little messages, which they need to continue to do in order to sell that their system is the most powerful coming up. But they need to make sure that the developers have the easiest path they could possibly have to make their system the lead platform. And I don't mean lead platform in regards to advertising and all that. I mean lead platform for development. The lead platform for making sure that their system is being designed at this one point and scaled to the other systems. Now PC in and of itself is a completely different animal except for when it comes to Microsoft where they have the advantage of owning Windows and since developers make their games for Windows already that allows them to have a foot in the door so if there is a game that's on Windows that already has 4k textures and 4k assets all they have to do is ported over to the Scorpio and it's not even so much a port as a copy and paste for layman's terms I know it's not exactly copy and paste but it's a more direct path and Microsoft smartly not a word but I'm gonna use it smartly use that connection to make games easily portable that's why it took only one person in two days to port the 4K assets from Forza Horizon 3 into Scorpio. And that's even on some prototype hardware that was powered by, you know, a potato, a fan, some Cheerios. You know, it was just a prototype. And it took one person two days to pour everything over that made it work. That ease of use is going to allow developers to be lazy. But we as a community and we need especially the xbox community they need to ensure that the developers do not get away with lazy ports that hashtag no parody that came up around the time that assassin's creed came out and destiny came out and everybody was screaming that xbox one was holding back the almighty ps4 which is hilarious in and of itself and that narrative needs to make sure that it's get pushed now so that the ps4 pro does not hold back the scorpio because the games are going to run very similarly except for the fact that the xbox will have the definitive version they will have the better looking one they will have the better playing one the smoother version and the one with higher assets and that's just simply a matter of one will be more powerful than the other this is not a debating thing. It's just is what it is. And the Xbox can do a brute force, whereas the PS4 Pro needs developers to step in. That is where the Xbox Scorpio has an advantage. We'll see, though, coming up, if they take advantage of that disparity between the two. If they continue to push this, we have the best version of... Call of Duty, World War II, and we have the best version of Battlefront. We have the best version of Destiny. Although, to be honest, Destiny will probably have direct parity. Just because that's how they roll, 
Destiny 2 will probably have direct parody. But they need to make sure that they push out those little subtle, you know, into the atmosphere type things so that each individual person starts to see them and each individual person starts to question if that's really the case. Now, for the layman's, 99% of the, you know, quote unquote console casuals will just play whatever the game is in front of them. They won't know the difference. But the ones that do need to see a definitive change. They need to make sure that if they're going to push this power narrative, especially with the big four games coming out at the end of this year, Red Dead 2, Battlefront 2, um, Destiny 2, and Call of Duty World War 2. I just realized there's a lot of twos. But with all of those coming out this year and all being marketed by Sony, Xbox, in order to make sure that they don't get lost in the shuffle, they have to make sure that they push out, we are the best console to play these on. Because you're not going to compete with PC, but you will be the best console to play it on. So they have to just keep pushing that out. And Phil, he's way too nice to do it. But people like Aaron Greenberg and Major Nelson, y'all need to, and Albert Pinello, y'all need to just, you know, put on your big boy pants and y'all need to just push that message out as hard and as fast and in everybody's face as you possibly can. But let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Does Xbox stand a chance if parody is a thing? If parody is a thing, are you going to be mad? Follow me on Twitter at the Real Masculine and at beam.pro backslash the Real Masculine where I stream every single day. Come holla at me. Come chill with your boy. As always, this your boy Masculine. Always give me that real. Let y'all like some play cousins. I'm out.